Elemental follows Pixar's long tradition of including various Easter eggs in its animated films. It frequently seems to be an impossible task to catch every inside joke or background joke in just one viewing. So we did it for you. Here are the top 20 Disney Easter eggs in Elemental. Plus, the city isn't made with fire people in mind. Sorry, but it'd take an act of God. When Wade invites Ember to the game to see his boss Gale, an air element, Wade asks the crowd to make a wave in support of the Windbreakers, who Gale is a huge fan of. Since they are all made of water, the water features at the Cyclone Stadium create a true wave. We love you, lads! We love you, lads! Come on! The Pizza Planet truck, which first appeared in 95's Toy Story and has since become synonymous with Pixar as a studio of hidden details, can also be found in Elemental. It has appeared in every film from Monsters, Inc. to Finding Nemo and Ratatouille. About halfway through the film, the truck can be seen in the background of a scene where Ember's mother, Cinder, follows her to Wade's family's apartment. The truck is visible behind Cinder as she stands outside. Oh, fire, fire. Oh, sorry! You're so hot. Many brand names get a makeover by Elemental, many of which are based on the fire or wood themed goods that line the shelves of Ember's father's convenience store. Spark Burst replaces Starburst, Twig replaces Twix, and Lightfinger replaces Butterfinger. Cereal brands include Fire Smacks instead of Honey Smacks, Frosted Flames instead of Frosted Flakes, and Shredded Wood instead of Shredded Weed. In addition, you'll discover Colgate toothpaste, which is probably made of coal, and Dr. Diesel soda in place of Dr. Pepper. Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows. Pixar is known for including hints about its upcoming works. In addition to referencing iconic characters from previous films, a poster with the words Join the Space Club and an illustration of a ringed, tentacled, planet-like object that have been featured in Elio's marketing can also be seen in the background. Elemental also contains a hidden Elio character, but given the number of alien races in Elio and the fact that the film hasn't been released, it's impossible to find this hidden appearance. Pixar fans may recognize some of the elemental characters in Elemental because the air people resemble Gus, the main cloud in the 2009 Pixar short Partly Cloudy in many ways. Given that Peter directed the short film, it doesn't seem like a coincidence that the characters in Elemental and Gus are similar. Additionally, a reference to Pixar's short is made more explicitly thanks to Partly Cloudy poster that can be seen at the theater where Ember and Wade go on their date. But we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. The Psy character Lake, who uses they, them pronouns and frequently travels with a partner they met in art school, is also featured in Elemental. Lake is a member of Ripple's extended family. He is Wade Ripple's younger sibling. Putting cynicism aside, it's comforting to see queer and trans actors receiving recognition. While Pixar is known for making references to its films, the company honors one of the best animation studios by giving Wade's sister's girl friend the name Gimbley. Studio Ghibli is known for producing masterpieces like My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. Due to Disney's prior international distribution of Studio Ghibli's films, this is a result of their partnership. Curiously, the element character named Ghibli is a water being even though the name Ghibli means a hot desert wind in Arabic and Italian. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry buddy, elements don't mix. <laughs> For those who saw Elemental in theaters, a new Pixar short serving as a sequel to Up With Carl and Doug was provided, but that wasn't the only time the talking dog sidekick would appear. The fan favorite character was cleverly incorporated into the new film by Pixar. This is accomplished by redesigning Doug so that his fur turns into grass and he becomes a pet for one of the inhabitants of the film. Elemental contains another possible Pixar easter egg by referring to Wind Breakers foes, the Crop Dusters as a team. While it's undoubtedly another gas-related pun for the Air People sports team, it could also be a subtle allusion to Dusty Crop Hopper from the animated film Planes. Given that Crop Dusters wear orange jerseys and that he's an orange Crop Duster plane in the franchise, it's more likely that the connection is deliberate. 
Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Wade and Amber go on one of their first dates to the movie, as happens with many couples, both in romantic comedies and in real life. The brief scene at the theater is devoid of movie footage, but it reveals that they are there to see Tide and Prejudice, a water-themed adaption of Jane Austen's classic romance novel Pride and Prejudice, in which Amber plays Elizabeth and Wade plays an overwhelmed Mr. Darcy. You'll see another well-known title at the same theater where Partly Cloudy is being shown. No, we're not referring to Tide and Prejudice. A different poster promotes the film The Good Element. This is a tribute to Peter's debut motion picture, The Good Dinosaur. If The Good Element has a similar setup, what do dinosaurs in this world consist of? Possibly an extinct fifth element. The pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. That's better. Oh. Not only is Ralph recognized in the 2023 film, there are other Pixar employees as well. There is a tribute to Ralph, Thomas, Amber, and J. Garrett Sheldrew before Elemental's post credits. Thomas served as Pixar's assistant editor for 19 years. The animator Amber worked there for eight years, and the story artist J. Garrett Sheldrew worked there for 14 years. With the exception of Peter's dedication to his parents, they're the last names listed listed in Elemental's credits. When Ember goes to Wade's house, his brother is introducing everyone and starts looking for his young kids. Since they are nowhere to be found, he shouts at them, Marco, Polo, and we see them appear from the pool. How punny. Wade's nephews are named Marco and Polo, a classic pool game. We got two kids that are swimming around here somewhere. Marco! Blue flame souvenirs are on display at the Lumen family shop's front counter. The trinkets are reminiscent of the sentiment bun from Bao, albeit in a bluer hue. Aside from celebrating Asian culture, Elemental and Bao look at how children interact with their parents as they try to forge their own paths. Both films also show how food can bring families together if it isn't too spicy. Ember's parents stand out from the crowd when they arrive in Element City. This is due not only to their physical appearances, but also to the language barriers. Mr. and Mrs. Lumen converse in fiery lingo, where everyone else speaks English. The fire language is not nonsense. The elemental team communicated using fire sounds. Eventually, the sounds would inspire Peterson as he developed a native fire language known as the Fireish. Try this! Dad, those are too hot. I love hot food! An automobile company by the name of Triota exists in the place of Toyota. Their vehicles likely use an eco-friendly fuel source based on our best guess. Although Element City has franchise stores like Pottery Barn, the fireplace is a small, family-run business. In the end credits, puns keep popping up. Wix R Us has access to loans from a Wells Fargo bank, even though we're unable to imagine how a retailer of their size can make it through this downturn. Flagstone Tire is one of the Air Balls game's sponsors. Through the addition of flagstone tires, Pixar gives a special nod to the car's franchise. The elemental Easter egg can be seen as flagstone tires appears on stadium signs for the Windbreakers versus the Crop Dusters game. Flagstone tires is also a sponsor in the car's franchise. How did you do that? Eh, lucky guess, I guess. There is a character from the upcoming Elio hidden in the film that the producer Denise confirmed in an interview. Finding this hidden cameo at the moment is a little challenging given the number of alien races that Elio will feature and the fact that the film has not yet been released. Three icons, A, H, and A, L, represent the three train lines in Element City on the Wetro transit sign. Hydrogen is represented by the atomic symbol H and has the atomic number Number one. Aluminum has the atomic number 13 and is represented by the symbol AL. Do you see where this is going? If you know how to decode it, you can find an A113 in the sign's code. This geeky Easter egg fits right in, considering that the film's concept was partly inspired by Peter, who mentioned his love of the periodic table in a press conference. I'm all grown up. And I smell good.
Elemental also makes a direct reference to the late Pixar animator Ralph. This manifests itself in the form of a cafe called Eat at Ralph's Cafe, whose sign advertises breakfast specials for just two cents. Ralph was a legendary figure at Pixar who assisted Peter in landing his first position there with Finding Nemo, but he sadly passed away. To honor the Pixar legend Ralph, who frequently offered his opinion on various films, Peter told EW that he decided decided to include the nod to Ralph. We'll see you in the next video. Milk and apple slices? Oh, you're on fire! Is it lunch? Wow! That was amazing!